everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today with the lead up to Christmas, I wanted to put together my top 10 recommendations for Christmas gifts for women, for girls in the designer perfume category. If you're looking to get a fragrance gift for Christmas, this list is ones which I think are relatively safe. Blind buys if you haven't smelled them or if you're looking for something that, you know, people are most likely gonna like, gonna be impressed by, gonna recognize and are gonna be something that they would have wanted to receive. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. I'm all about perfumes. I do have detailed videos on all the perfumes I mentioned, their whole ranges, all the different versions of them. So do check them out as well as my blog, SokiLondon.com that has detailed articles on whole perfume ranges as well. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. And as always, I'll leave the links in the description box where you can buy all these perfumes all around the world. And of course, where you can get my fragrances if you're looking to perhaps to get a more niche fragrance to support an independent brand. My perfumes Empress, Aphrodite are my super concentrated soy wax candles. I do have some limited edition Christmas versions of them as well are all available on my website and on Amazon in the UK. Um, but before we get into the list I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor Top Cashback. I have an exclusive link for you guys in the description box where you can get £10 off your first shop through Top Cashback and all the perfumes I mentioned you can buy via Top Cashback. They're the UK's leading cashback site with the highest cashback rates guaranteed. And if you find a better cashback rate, they'll beat it. They have over 5,000 brands. And basically when you do your online shopping, if you just go via Top Cashback, you get cashback on what you've purchased and you can withdraw it straight away. There's no minimum withdrawal amount. So if you use it for your Christmas shopping, you could potentially get hundreds of pounds worth of cashback that you can then withdraw and spend on whatever you want. So when you sign up, use the link below on top of the cashback that you earn on your shopping you'll get that 10 pounds at joining bonus within 14 days of placing the order you basically just click the get cashback now button and then you're all set so for example all the fragrances I mentioned here you can buy on Selfridges online website via top cashback and earn that cashback rate and you can get the deal through any of your Christmas shopping any of your everyday shopping it just excludes takeaways and free cashback offers so I'll show you now how easy it is. So it's really easy to use. Just search top cash back. And then on the website, once you've signed up, just search for Selfridges or hundreds of other websites are on there. And then you just click through, do your shopping and your cash back will be tracked. Cool, so let's get into the perfume. So I guess that when you think of Christmas gifting, probably the companies that spend the most on advertising around this year are Chanel and Dior. Now the number one bestseller from Chanel is their Coco Mademoiselle. It is quite a common fragrance. It is like a worldwide bestseller. You smell it all the time. So my top recommendation for Chanel is actually their Chance range. Personally, I think Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, which is the pink fragrance. They have four different, slightly different colors, and this is the pink one. It's probably the safest for a Christmas gift. It's a very feminine, pretty scent. This is the Eau de Toilette. They also have an Eau de Parfum, which is a little bit more rosy. The Eau de Toilette is a very fresh, clean, feminine floral. And then the original Chance Eau de Parfum is a slightly musky perfume. She's got quite a professional vibe, but all the Chance perfumes are pretty Pretty fresh, pretty clean feeling, and they are classy. Of course, the bottles are very unique, beautiful. They come in the Chanel sort of packaging. And if you're buying for someone who's a lover of pink, I definitely think the pink Eau Tendre is a pretty gift to receive. This is the 50 mil, but they do do 30 mils, which are around 50 pounds. Also have loads of ancillary products, body lotions, soaps, shower gels, etc. So you can put together a whole little Chanel package. When it comes to Dior, the Miss Dior range is probably the one that's the most heavily advertised and they have reformulated a lot of their Miss Dior perfumes. So even if someone's had one in the past, they are new scents, most of them now. My personal favorite at the moment is probably Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is the new version that came out about a year ago and it has this pretty sort of Dior fabric bow on it. And Blooming Bouquet is a really 
fresh, sweet pea scent. Clean, slightly green, and it is probably a bit of a competitor to Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. Mm. It's very much like an English country garden smell. It is light. This is an eau de toilette. Mystigo Eau de Parfum is a little bit heavier, um, but it's still fairly light. It has a lot of lily notes in it. And Mystigo Absolutely Blooming, which is discontinued, but they do have some in stock and some websites still. That's the heavier of the three different Mystigo perfumes, which is a little bit closer to my Empress, which was based on Mystigo Cherie from a long time ago. They do also have Mystigo Rose and Roses for fans of rose scents. And they are doing gift sets, which Chanel don't do. And the gift sets are a little bit more expensive than buying the perfumes on their own, but you're getting like little minis or travel sprays with them and they're in beautiful Dior packaging. So probably one of the most popular fragrance Christmas gifts last year, and I think it will be this year as well, is Prada Paradox. This is a very trendy perfume and it's one of the strongest out of this whole list as well. So this is definitely for someone that likes wearing a little bit of a stronger perfume. It's an amber jasmine fragrance. They do have an intense version, which is a little bit more mossy and wintry, but the original Eau de Parfum is my recommendation. It comes in this very unique um, Prada logo shaped bottle. And what is great about this is that it does last. You can rely on it. I often smell it on people since it came out. It's done really, really well. So if you're buying for someone who perhaps wants something that makes a little bit of a statement, that's going to be that they can rely upon, that they can keep smelling on themselves, you can smell it on them, then Product Paradox is um, definitely my recommendation for a strong modern fragrance. The Black Opium Eau de Parfum, original Black Opium, it is great for someone who perhaps um, goes out quite a lot in the evenings. It's very much like a date night fragrance. Again, it's pretty trendy. I actually really like a newer version of it called Black Opium Le Parfum. This one is more of a daytime fragrance. It uses orange blossom and it has a solar note in, which is basically something that recreates the feeling of like the warm sun on your skin, a little bit of a creaminess. It's got the same sort of addictive qualities as the original Eau de Parfum, but the original Eau de Parfum is quite strong, quite like fun. It has a coffee note in and it might be a bit much perhaps to wear to an office or during the day. I personally love the Le Parfum version. I think this is a little bit more sophisticated and with it being relatively new it might be something that someone hasn't smelt before. So I think this is the safest blind buy for a gift from the Black Opium range. The other big Yves Saint Laurent perfume is their Libre. So from this range I recommend the original Eau de Parfum. This is um, again very trendy. We've got Dua Lipa as the face of the fragrance but it is a great everyday scent. It combines orange blossom, jasmine and lavender. So it has a little bit of a calming feel from the lavender, but it's very versatile. You could wear this day, evening, any time of year. I would like the Eau de Toilette version for the summertime as well. They do have a new silver version platine, which for me is very unisex, and that could definitely be a good gift for a man or someone that likes wearing slightly more fresh male style fragrances. And they have stronger versions, Le Parfum, Intense, but I think in terms of a safe blind buy or safe gift, I'd stick with the original Eau de Parfum or the Eau de Toilette. For fans of rose fragrances, you can't really go wrong with Lancome Idole. This is pear and rose. It performs really well, really good quality perfume. My top recommendation for lovers of rose fragrances. And they do have a new version of it called Idole Now that has a little bit of orchid added to it. Again, it's really good for lasting, really projects. So again, one for someone that perhaps does like having the scent that they can really rely upon. And I think if someone tends to like the Chanel perfumes like Coco Mademoiselle, then they'll probably like Lancome Idol because they both have that rose note in the heart. So personally, I think these perform better than Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. A fragrance that's inspired by travel. So if you're buying for someone that loves to travel like me, and um, do check out my travel channel, Soki Travels, my travel vlogs, then I recommend Giorgio Armani My Way, the original. This combines a tuberose 
rose with other white floral notes and it has a fresh uplifting bergamot top note. It lasts and performed pretty well and all the advertising is all about traveling the world and different experiences and doing things my way. And it's very versatile as well. If you don't know what fragrance someone likes, then a white floral like this with tuberose is pretty easy going, pretty difficult to dislike, has a little bit of a green sense to it from that tuberose, but it's not overly feminine, it's not sweet, and I think it's a pretty safe gifting blind buy. My personal favorite from this list is Irresistible Givenchy because I love pear notes in perfumes. This combines rose with a pear top note and it's really sparkling fresh. It's probably quite girly. So one for someone who likes it more pink type fragrances. I love wearing this. My boyfriend loves it when I wear this. I use the hair mist as well. It's just like fresh, quite sparkling. That pear note gives it a fruity vibe. It's one of the more fruity ones from this range. But the Eau de Parfum does perform pretty well, but it's not overly like projecting. So you can definitely wear this during the day to the office, probably more of a daytime fragrance. I love Givenchy and this is my favorite from all their perfumes. For something a little bit slightly more edgy, Valentino Volche Viva. This is actually the intense version. This one has Lady Gaga as the face of the fragrance. So if you know someone likes her, and um, this could be a good choice. Again, this is a white floral jasmine and um, the intense version has a a little bit of a bourbon vanilla in. So it's a little bit of a more autumnal wintry fragrance. And it's definitely something that has a little bit of presence, could be worn in the evening, but it could definitely be worn during the day as well, particularly the original Volche Viva Eau de Parfum. And that little bit of vanilla in, I know vanilla is a really popular perfume note, so I wanted to add one with vanilla in, um, but still this isn't like overly sweet. It's not overly vanilla. The jasmine still really comes through. So so this is what, uh, my recommendation if you think someone likes something a little bit sweet. And then finally, the Valentino range of Born in Roma fragrances. This is the original Born in Roma, which is like a fruity, woody fragrance. It has a black currant top note. So this again is quite trendy, quite young, quite fun. But they also have Yellow Dream, which is very lemony. They have Coral Fantasy, which is quite summery. And then they have an intense version of this as well which is a little bit more wintry. But again, if um, you know that the person likes something a little bit fruity, a little bit sweet, again, this kind of like black opium could be worn in the evening, but as well as during the day, it's quite lighthearted, very sort of girly, comes in this bright pink packaging. And it's definitely one for like a lover of fashion, someone who's quite girly, but quite edgy, trendy as well, and loves those sort of more hot pink colors. Cool, so those are my recommendations for Perfume Gifts for Women 2023 for Christmas. Don't forget that you can sign up to Top Cashback and get these with cashback rewards, plus that 10 pound joining bonus as well. A link in the description, along with where you can buy all of these all around the world. Uh, but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know what else you'd add to this list as great safe blind buys for gifts for women. Um, but that's it. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.